Hey Clashers, we just had the Clash Arena event and that was to me a 10 out of 10. The biggest event in Clash of Clans history for sure and in my opinion the coolest we ever had. Already just the event pass had just so much value for future play players, for regular players. It was amazing for everyone. 30% training discount and then obviously the 10% discount for uh, time for buildings and the cost and everything. It was over a really, really solid event for progress and for just having fun. And with fun, we had three event troops which were added during that event, which were taking over the meta quite quickly because they were insanely strong. But Supercell has shared a couple of other options which they had, and I thought we would take a look at those concepts of other event troops which we have never seen in the game, but could have happened actually during the event, but Super Saiyan is setting against them. So for example, we're starting off with the first three, and Super Saiyan shared quite a few, so I would just go through them and kind of try to guess what hero, like what troops were in those, and obviously, um, well, what abilities, what the troop could look like, kind of. And we'll try to assume that. For example, if we start on the far left side right there, you see, well, I would say it's an ice golem, right? Like that's the base concept. But what is in addition to that? It just looks like, I don't know, maybe another witch, which means the ice witch golem. I don't know, like with the skeletons on top of his head, it kind of looks like the witch a little bit, but it's hard to guess. So what could the ability be? I don't know, maybe when the explosion of the ice golem happens, then spawning skeletons as well. It's really hard to guess. I feel like some others are easier, but this first one, it's not easy at all. The second one is even harder in my opinion. Like, yes, the first troop was kind of obvious with the wizard, but what is the other troop? Is it a golem? Is it a wizard golem with like the, the golem thing on top? I, I don't know, I'm not really sure. And what the ability, like what could the ability be? A ranged golem? Maybe a fire explosion and then like three fire golemites? I'm not really sure, but one thing I'm really sure about, and that is the next concept, which is a Yeti, but combined with a Lava Hound, which looks really cool, not gonna lie. I mean, this has to be one of my favorites of those concepts, because I think you could do so much with this concept. Okay, imagine this. A Lava Yeti Mite, or like, like a Lava Yeti spawning Lava Yeti Mites, kind of like the fire spirits from the Flame Finger. So whenever a Yeti Mite is going anywhere, it would kind of leave the fire spirits on the ground around that building. Doesn't that not sound cool? And obviously really strong, but I mean, that's what the event troops are, right? They they are supposed to be really strong. I think that would have been, that would have been pretty cool. Having a Lava Yeti walking around and spawning Lava Yeti Mites. And before you're going crazy, remember you cannot put the event troops in the clan castle. So for example, a Lava Yeti Limp would have not worked. That would have been the downside. But see, I, would, I would think that it could have been quite good with setting the base on fire pretty much with all of those fire spirits. I am pretty confident that that would have been a great addition and a great another option to maybe the Lava Loon. But as I said, those are only the first three concepts. Overall, Supercell has shared quite a few, and I think we should just go through all of them one by one and always kind of guessing the troops, and I would love to hear your opinion. Do you think I was right with the first three troops? First one with the Ice Golem and Witch, second one with the, well, Wizard and Golem, and third one with the Yeti and Lava Hound, or do you think I'm already wrong here? I would love to hear your opinion about that, and I want to know what your favorite concept is. Moving on, we have another one of my favorites, which is the Electro Dragon combined with the Heater. I mean, I would say it's kind of easy to spot. Or is it the Electro Dragon with the Titan? To be honest, I would prefer the Electro Dragon with the Heater. Why do I say it? So even though it might look as I'm looking at it, it might more... Is it the hair of the Titan or the hair of the Healer? Let me know, but I would prefer for sure the Electro Dragon with the Heater. Why? Healers are one of the strongest troops in Clash of Clans. I would love to have more flexibility, like more different type of healers. One healer which is really good versus one single target damage, splash healing, whatever. But the Electro Dragon healer would kind of shoot chains at your troops, healing them. So it would be like shooting a chain, or like the first target, healing a certain amount, and then this chain is jumping to the next target and so on. It's obviously losing power with every single jump. Wouldn't that be cool? I would love to see that in the game. I mean, that would be just so incredibly cool. 
And I have to say, this would be one of my favorite concepts of like, even like a new troop in general. I would love to have more healer troops in the game to be more um, like flexible when choosing what type of healer you need for your army. Next troop, again, looks kind of obvious. It's the Hog Rider with the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie Hog Rider, whatever you want to name it. But I mean, the ability, what could it be? A Hog Rider jumping over walls and then just spinning like a Valkyrie? That would be pretty OP, not like with skeleton traps not making anything against it. That would be already an option. But the last one, that is tough to call. Is it either a baby dragon in combination with like the skeleton of a balloon? Or is it a bomber like or like war breaker with a baby dragon? That is, I'm not sure. And what would the baby dragon do? throw bombs that would be kind of crazy like fire bombs exploding everywhere there's just so many options with those concepts it's pretty crazy and there's just so many ideas but still i have to say if i would pick a favorite of those three it has to be the electro dragon and the healer even though it might be the two electro dragon or like the electro troops with the titan and the dragon but i still prefer my healer option okay let's move on with the next one we have an interesting one another bay dragon but I would guess this time it's with a balloon. The last time it seems to be like with a bomber. So this time we have the Bay Dragon with the balloon combined. Not sure where is this true or where those two troops combined. Is it like a farming strategy? I'm not really sure. But either way, what could the ability be? I am not really confident. Maybe if the balloon is isolated, it is raged up. So it has the rage effect of the Bay Dragon from the Night Village maybe. But I'm not sure if that is really good combination. Overall, not the biggest fan of that concept as it's not really that creative, I would say. Like not giving so many creative options to the ability of the troops. But let's move on to the next one. That's going to be, again, a Valkyrie but with a Hawk Hammer. So I guess another Hawk Valkyrie thing, rider, whatever you want to name it. But this time around without the Hawk. I think I would prefer the other option. Like having a hog rider kind of jumping over walls and spinning like a Valkyrie sounds to be more fun than having a Valkyrie with just the hammer of Thor in his hand from the hog rider. Who knows? But the next one kind of looks like from the uh, from the builder base with the hog glider. And the hog has those vampire teeth. Does he have those normally? I don't think so, right? So is it the combination of hog glider? With a witch or night witch? I'm not sure. I'm on this one. I'm a little bit confused because what is the combination? The hog glider itself is kind of obvious, but what is the combination? I am not sure. Some of those combinations, some of those concepts, it's really hard to guess what two troops they have put together. It's really hard to tell. But let's just move on because they have shared even more concepts. So let's take a look at that. And we have, well, <laughs> this time around the Night Witch. But I would think that it's combi uh, combined with a Valkyrie. At least that's what the X looks like. So I would say it's a Night Witch Valkyrie thing. I'm not sure if I like that. What, what would it do? Like with every spin, it's spawning bats? Maybe. I don't know. But the next one I like. The next one is looking crazy. Okay, well, the first time I looked at this next concept, the middle one. I was like, okay, it's another hog rider. But was it combined with? Is it a wizard? Because it had like the, the, the hog on fire in his hand? Is it a goblin because of the ears? What is it actually? But when I looked at the pose and at the really pumped up <laughs> hog rider, I thought, well, it's a boulder actually. So it's the hog wizard, uh, it's, it's the hog rider with the boulder together. So I think this gives just so many options. A hog throwing bouncing a uh, rider throwing bouncing hogs come on that would be just funny as heck in your village i mean just imagine like having hogs bouncing everywhere and the most fun thing would be imagine as soon as the hog uh, uh, like arrived at the final destination kind of after whatever how many bounces it would come alive and just attack whatever building is next at this this concept those two troops together are having so many options of combining them in cool ways, it's crazy. I think this has to be one of my favorites. So far, the three favorites I have has to be the Lava Yeti, the Electro Dragon Healer, even though it was not the intended combination, I think, and this one. Those three are 
having so many options for gameplay things and how to change the gameplay completely. It is crazy. But let's move on to the last troop, which is kind of looking like the battle healer from Clash Royale. But it is the Raged Barbarian from the Night Village combined with the healer. At least that's what it looks like, right? So I guess it could work as the battle healer from Clash Royale, kind of like that. But enraged up maybe? I'm not really sure. I would prefer it anyways because overall I'm a huge fan of having different options with when it comes down to healers. Healers are just such a big part of the game. We're just missing so many options. The chain healer from the like from earlier would have been a great option. Maybe a healer which is targeting air troops would be a nice thing. Like there's so many options you could possibly combine healers into. It would be amazing. So I feel like that would be for sure something cool. And I mean, overall, there were so many, so many good concepts. Let me know what your favorite concept was from all of those. But let's take a look at that. We have the hero skins as well as a concept. And guys, I don't know if you feel the same way, but if I would have to pick the top three of all time sets. So we're talking about complete sets. So for example, the Chinese Lunar New Year, there is no like from the skins there, there is no complete set yet. I hope that there's going to be set eventually, especially because the next Chinese year is the year of the dragon. Oh boy, there could be such insane skins. Just imagine like a dragon, I guess, is it Warden be having the next China New Year skin? I'm not really sure, but imagine like a dragon warden or something. Oh my goodness, there's so many cool options. But for now, it does, it's not a complete set. So what are my top three sets right now without any specific ranking within the top three. It has to be the ghost set, which we just had. It has to be the magic set from Town of 15. And it has to be the champion set, which just got completed this month. So overall, I mean, it's just crazy how many good skins we have gotten recently. And we're looking forward to see future skins, especially this dragon skin. It has to be a dragon skin. We had the year of the rabbit this year, which got the, like, we had the queen. We have the tiger king, which in my opinion is like the coolest king skin still individual. Like, just taking a look at the king skins uh, alone. So... It is crazy. It is crazy indeed. But overall, let me know what was your favorite part about this last event. Was it the event troops? Was it the skins? Was it... Let me know. And I want to see what your favorite concept is and what the ability of this troop would look like because that would be amazing. Otherwise, well, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next Clash video. And then see ya and bye bye.